I've moved down the canal a little bit. Um, I went down through Swarkston Lock and on a really nice countryside bit here, very, very quiet. Um, the main reason for it, even though I had winter mooring up at the top, the towpath was getting really muddy and I was finding Madam with her four feet rather than just mine was um, trampling mud through the boat and mess and stuff. So I've come up here where it's nice and dry and it's, it's fine now. It does mean I have to walk across a certain field to get to the car, but in a weird sort of way, I'm actually closer to the car than I was at Swarkston. So there's plus and minuses. So at this time of year, the Canal and River Trust do their winter stoppages. What that means is they completely stop the traffic going through various parts of the network. And that's purely so that they can do their uh, maintenance. Um, I'm just walking down the final part of the Trent and Mersey Canal before it goes out onto the River Trent. And at Derwent Lock, they're doing maintenance here. Um, they put complete stoppages in so that they can take gates out, replace them, put different covings in, deal with the sill that's in the, the bottom of the lock chamber. Basically all the things that they need to do to keep all the boats navigating around the system during the rest of the year. Because most of the boats are um, moored up in marinas like this over the winter, winter months, um, it gives them time to, to do them. The stoppages are advertised on the Canal and River Trust website months and months and months in advance so people can plan their, their way around the system. For example, I was down on the Coventry Canal and I knew I wouldn't be able to get up past here to get up onto the River Saw, for example. So I booked my moorings up at Swarkston. But it just means that you've got to be aware of the surroundings and be aware of the stoppages. Derwent Mouth Lock was built in 1777 and is the first lock on the Trenton Mersey Canal. I've travelled through it many times and it's a well used lock, allowing boats to travel back and forth from the River Trent up onto the canal. With all its use, this winter it's time for a bit of restoration and repair. A number of wooden beams, or to use their technical term, stanks are wedged in place at both ends of the lock to seal it. However, water does continue to seep past them, so ash from steam trains is poured into the water and the seeping flow carries the ash into the gaps, causing it to make a tighter seal. A number of damaged coping stones have been replaced with hand-crafted stone, and once the chamber could be inspected, brickwork could be repaired. There was some bricks that were actually missing and there were some that were actually too degraded to be repointed. Um, it's a bit of a, a toss up, basically you have to do it a lot by eye because you'll look at things and you'll think, uh, you know, can I chop, shall I chop that out, shall I leave it? Ultimately in things this age, you could just turn around and go, the old lot needs chopping out, at which point you've got a new lot. So to keep the historic structure as intact as possible, the Canal and River Trust need to restore rather than replace. As the lock is listed, they're not allowed to use cement. Instead, they need to use sand and lime to fix the stones and bricks into place. Some damage is only visible once the lock has been drained. We found that this gate was dragging on the bottom a little bit. Uh, and on further in examination, we realised that the actual bracket on the top that sits around there, uh, one side of it had snapped. Uh, it's going out of cast iron, and it had snapped. And the actual stone itself uh, had got a fault in it, and it had separated, so it was letting the whole thing move. So that was a job that we had anticipated. They've dug it out and are waiting for a one and a half ton sandstone to be quarried and brought here by boat. 
The restoration here is due to take around about six weeks and it's um, planned to stop on the 12th of December, even though they have had extra work to do. Um, and the total cost is around about £120,000. With hundreds of locks scattered across the country, this time of year is jam-packed with work and they've only got a small window of opportunity before the canal springs to life again in March. So if you wanted to come and have a look at this lock, it's open on the 2nd and the 3rd of December. They've got viewings here. The guys and the team that actually are fixing the lock and preparing it and restoring it, they'll be here. As well as up on the, the canal on the Trenton Mersey, they've got horse-drawn boats going up and down there. So you can see that of how it used to be in the olden days. And now it's on to the River Trent and the River Derwent. They've got um, river trips to Sawley Marina. I've included a link in the description below about this weekend's event. If you like this episode, please do give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and until next time, see you later.